Hi and welcome to my playhouse and the creepy basement today. It's been a while since we've been down here. Um, I have this Synology NAS up here, which is just outside of you. There, Synology NAS. And I'm going to be upgrading that today. Um, not because I really need any more space in it right now. Well, it is kind of running low. We can probably see that when we go to the computer. But my Synology NAS at my playhouse, the little four unit NAS, that has, um, it has a bad drive up there. And I believe that's a three terabyte drive that has gone badish. And I, sh I shut it down. It was complaining about one of the drives and I thought, well, I better not run it if it's complaining. It, it seemed like one of the drives had given up and was no longer active. So it was um, degraded and there was no security on it anymore. There is a total backup up on this one. Most of the data that is on that NAS is my raw uh, film data. So right now the NAS at my playhouse is off, but it's in degraded mode. So I want to upgrade this one to get one of the older four terabyte drives that are up here, get that available to bring to my playhouse and uh, put that in my little Synology NAS up there. So uh, fix that and upgrade it with another terabyte of storage, which I will also need up there. So uh, let's, uh, let's go see this Synology box. This Synology box up here is a eight bay unit. It's the 15, 18, 18, 15 plus. Ah, I forget. We're in the storage manager and we can see this, the eight drives are here. This one, two, three, four, blah, 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 up that away. And right now it has 31.4 terabytes of storage. I am using 26.6 terabytes, 85% full. Uh, let's get some. Oh, here it says that the capacity is 32.72. And there is 800 megabytes available. Yeah, and here are all the drives. This is a four terabyte, four terabyte, four terabyte, eight terabyte, eight terabyte, four terabyte, eight terabyte, four terabyte. So we need to take out one of these four terabyte drives. Uh, I was really going to, I think, replace. I have an archive drive in there, and I've. Everybody says that that was a big mistake. I believe it's that one. It's an eight terabyte archive drive. And I believe that it has also, it has been noisy. So I really wanted to exchange that. I wanted to get rid of the noise, but well, lately it hasn't been saying much. And as I really need one of those four terabyte drives, I'm gonna postpone that and just take out a an, an four terabyte drive. So um, we might as well take I think we'll take number two up here or I'll actually go and feel the drive and see if everything if any of them are vibrating because vibration is kind of noisy okay I'm just feeling this one has a little bit of movement to it This, this one should be the archive drive that also has a movement to it. Nothing. It's not much. Let's take number two here. Now that I have said that I was going to take that. So let's just, let's just do that. Um, and these are hot pluggable, so I can take out a drive, put in the new drive, and it should start. Uh, well, it's not gonna start by itself, but I can tell it to rebuild. The drive we're gonna be putting in is this one. It's a Skyhawk 10 terabyte drive. Uh, this Skyhawk model is really, it's meant for surveillance systems. Uh, 
it says it's there. So this is meant to go for camera surveillance system. So it's meant for running 24 seven. It's uh, not directly meant for going into a storage box or a NAS like this, uh, but we're gonna be using it anyway. We have made a copy of all of our film data from my film company. We made a copy to this drive and I've been copying it over using a little box like this, a USB 3 box that is directly attached uh, to the NAS around the back here. And I've been copying data over. I have seen speeds up to 150 megabytes per second. So that wasn't too bad, but well, let's, um, let's put this drive in. So I'll put up the camera and we will take that out. So uh, the box comes with a little tiny key here. Um, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous, but it fits in there and we can open it up. There. And we can take the drive out and it's gonna be complaining when I do that. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna realize that the drive has left it and it's gonna be complaining. So in the meanwhile, we can see the drive here. This is a Hitachi, it's from 2012. Yeah, complaining it is. So this drive has been running for six years and now I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna run it at my playhouse. Uh, see it here, so four terabytes and here at the manager it has also found that there's something wrong so right now it's complaining up here that um, the storage cluster has been degraded so I don't like this much so we're gonna hurry up and uh, and replace the drives so let's see we take this piece out and this piece out uh, of, the, of the tray we are able to take the drive out We'll put in the new drive there. Make sure that the holes line up and put this in. Hope that fits in there. It's quite a big drive, this one. There. So um, it's ready to go in. So let's do that. And this is not exactly fun at all. This is nerve wracking messing around with your data like this. This is the fastest way to get rid of all your data really, really quick. So um, don't do this for fun. Make sure that you have a plan. Uh, so now it's locked. It's gonna be checking out that drive. We should be able to see it on the computer now. But this is the fastest way ever to destroy all your data. Uh, be very careful. So here at the computer, we can now see it. It's not initialized, but it's normal. And it sees it as the Seagate and it sees 9.1 terabytes of storage. So we're gonna go up to the disk group here and it will it explain to us that we are in degraded mode. Um, so yeah, we're gonna uh, manage and it, it uh, tells us that we should repair this. I agree, so we're gonna pick next. It uh, suggests that we should use the drive that I just put in. And um, I think that's a really good option. So we'll just zoom down. We have a couple of buttons down here. So we will pick next. And uh, it tells me that all the data on that drive will be deleted when we do this. And I was aware of that. I have copied the data into the NAS box and my good buddy has another copy. So we're all good and fine. So yes. And uh, now we get a summary about what we are about to do. So when I press reply, I think that it will stop beeping at some point. Yeah. It knows that I'm fixing it, so it has stopped beeping. Uh, this is gonna take forever and ever. 
This is not something that it just does. It, uh, it's gonna take that drive that we just put in and it's gonna be rebuilding. It's gonna be distributing the data on the NAS uh, around through the drives so that um, there is a, a fair amount, a fair share of data on that nine terabyte drive uh, compared to the other drives. And at the end of that, you can see it's changed up here. Right now it's, it's checking parity consistency and it's 0.00% done with that. It's, um, it's, it's, it will work for a couple of days on this. Um, I'm running this Synology Hybrid RAID on this and I'm only running it with one disk full torrents, which is, it's not a lot. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is that I do have another copy of the important data on this. If, well, this should never be uh, your one copy. Even if I had two disks full torrents and a hot spare and whatever, what if someone just came in and took the box? Then uh, you could have as many drives as full torrents as you wanted to. But, well, that wouldn't help. So, well, we can see that now it's building down here. It's gonna take forever, so... Um, and I will get a... A fair amount of more data out of this remember I took out a can we see that I took out a 4 terabyte drive and put in a 10 terabyte drive so I'm gonna get additional 6 terabytes of data available for me so this Hitachi drive that I took out of there that is nothing special uh, it's actually a disk star uh, drive 4 terabytes and this is it's meant for energy efficient quiet PC storage and it has been running I've never had this in a PC it has been in different storage units this one has actually been in that Synology NAS that it's now going back to uh, when I upgraded to the new NAS this was one of the drives that came from the old NAS and started up in the in the new NAS so it's going back to the old NAS to um, to take another spin in there the lighting conditions here are really stupid so okay but it's a regular pc hard drive it's kind of the drive that you would use as your d drive in your pc you would have a really awesome ssd to boot on and then you would have a good hard drive to have some extra data on and that could be this drive okay this has been running for a while um we are on the second day here so and it has reached well, first it was doing, um, well, I showed that. Now it's it's repairing and it's uh, still checking consistency and it's at 59.12%. Doesn't really matter, I have all week for this. I have taken the four terabyte drive and put it in my car because we are bringing that to my playhouse. Okay, so it has completed. It's no longer doing anything with the new disc up here. And it also tells me that I have now another 3.64 terabytes available to me that is not currently part of this disk group. So I can go in and expand my disk group and get that much more space out of it. Which is not the full amount of space that I could expect. I put a 10 terabytes in there and I took a 4 terabyte out. So I really should get 6 terabytes, but I guess something goes out of the equation because it's the only 10 terabyte drive that I have in there. I have a couple of 8 terabytes. I actually have 3 of those. But we are ready to fix the Synology drive at my playhouse. Okay, hey, we're at my playhouse. It's weekend, it's Friday. We have the weekend off. But last, uh, last weekend I was here. The Synology NAS here was complaining it had a bad disk. I think I remember it was number 4. But I turned it off because I didn't want it to break during the week. So now we're gonna turn it on and see if, um, if I remember right. So we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna see what drive uh, fail. And if it doesn't fail here uh, right away um, I'm gonna go and check the computer, but if it uh, comes up here and says the drive number or whatever uh, That's gonna be the LEDs over here. There are an LED for each of the hot drives. Well um, 
I can I can use that instead of checking on the computer. So a mistake that I did um, a couple of years ago, or at least a year ago, was to take a drive from this larger Synology box, which has newer firmware on it, and stick it out into the Synology, the little Synology box. And what will happen is that the little Synology box will recognize that, whoa, this has newer firmware. That must be the latest and greatest thing. So it's gonna try and boot on that and it might try to corrupt all the other firmwares that is on there. So what I have to do is I have to delete this disk before I uh, put it in out there. So I have a little have a little piece of electronic from an external hard drive. So we're gonna plug that in. Uh, it, it's just it's just from a box. So plug that in there. And I have connected that to USB, so I need some power. I have plugged in some power for it too. So let's see when we plug that in. Yep, we have lights. And it spins. So let's go to the computer. This is the drive 2 down here and it has a lot of weird partitions on there. That's Synology that makes those partitions, so I'm gonna make sure to delete I hope I can delete all of them. I'm just gonna be deleting the partitions. Might just do a big Windows partition when I'm done so that it really sees nothing. So one big unallocated. We're just gonna make a simple volume on that. That way it will be completely empty. So I'm just gonna make a blah volume quick format, great. Just so that it doesn't do anything stupid when I put it out there. So formatting. Drive is still there. And it's done. Blah volume has been made. Um, we're ready to put this in. So out here the box is still working on something. It's beeping at me, but it's not really showing me what drive is um, it is beeping at here. So I guess we have to go to the computer and see what what's going on. Okay, computer again. It's not happy. Attention! Okay, 81% um, of the space is used. There is nine terabytes in this NAS. I have used 7.3 terabytes. Uh, and if we go over to the disks, I was right. It's the fourth disk that is um, faulty. And I'm so lucky that that's a three terabyte drive and not one of the two four terabyte drives that are in here. Um, and it's a Seagate drive that has failed. I'm sure that's gonna shock everybody that a Seagate drive can fail. So, uh, well, now you know that. So, um, fourth drive, let's shut this down and uh, go replace that. Okay, it has shut down, so now we can... We're not gonna take it very far away, but... Oh, we can just turn it around and um, make sure that the plugs are in, right? Please. And here around the backs, there are four drives in here and each of them has a little plastic cage that they are sitting in. I do not remember if there's any screws in number four down here, but we're gonna figure that out in very, very shortly. So I'm gonna plug that out. Let's see. Yeah, I have a screw there. Uh, just that one. So we need a little screwdriver. Oh, we have one right there. So we're just gonna take that one out. There. So together with uh, fixing this, because that one, the three terabyte on top there, that one is broken. Uh, but I'm also gonna be expanding the NAS with an extra terabyte of data. So I'm going to be hitting 10 terabytes. Um, so, well, I was going to do this anyway. Of course, it's, I would rather that the drive had not died. And um, 
I could just have expanded it and I would have had a, another good 3 terabyte drive. That's, that's really the good way. Uh, there's no reason to throw them out. Make sure the connections are in good. Power on. And I'll bring this into the computer, maybe uh, try it out, make sure that it is totally dead. Okay, we are back at the computer. It pops up with the control panel here. And uh, if I want to kill the beeping, I can do that right there. But as I really can't hear the beeping in here, uh, I will just, so let's just minimize that. And we can see that we are still uh, tension and stuff is going on. So let's check. We have a new hard drive in here, drive number four. We have three Seagate drives now and we have the four terabyte Hitachi drive here. So let's go to the disk group and manage and repair. It suggests that we should use the 4 terabyte drive here. I think that's a really good suggestion, so we're gonna do that. It uh, alerts me that we're gonna be erasing that. I am okay with that. And it's gonna probably take pretty long, and we get almost 10 terabytes. <laughs> cool. Apply. The Synology box has been running all night, but right now I'm not able to get into the web interface of it. Um, and I'm a bit confused if it's actually doing anything. Um, so I think I'll go out there and I'll restart the box in hopes that it will be more forthcoming about what it is actually doing. So out here it looks pretty normal. Um, it's not doing much. It doesn't look like it's doing any work at all. It's just green. LAN connection is good. So we're just gonna try and see if we can power it off. It should really start powering off. It should beep at me and tell me that it's now powering off. I think we can say that it has um, <clears throat> stopped communicating with me. So I'm gonna remove power and we're gonna power it again. It's, that's unfortunate. There, that will stop it. So. Power back on and we'll power it again and it will boot. Let's see how it comes up. Okay, that helped. Uh, right now it's uh, verifying hard drive in the background, resynchronizing, and it has reached 1.65%. Uh, this NAS box takes quite a bit to boot up when I have had it turned off. So right now it's it's working on getting this good again. It sees the drive okay, so that is fine. Let's check the drives. All is normal in here. That's good. Uh, security is not back online before this is completed. So um, yeah, that might just take another day at least for that very slow, not even a progress bar to get up to 100%. And sometimes it does something else afterwards and I will also have to expand the capacity afterwards because right now it just sees the nine terabytes that was there before when it has completed I can go and tell it that it has another terabyte and to and to use that extra one terabyte to extend the disk group so well this is gonna take a while so this Synology NAS box is a 411 J and the 4 means that it has 4 drives, the 11 means that it is from 2011. So this NAS box is at least 7 years old right now. So yeah, I probably should get a newer model for this because it is getting quite slow. And the amount of RAM in this one, I think it's 128 megabytes of memory that it has. And yeah, it's not helping it very much, that's for sure. So. I also think that's why it wasn't responding and I'm not able to run very many applications on it anymore uh, with this huge amount of data 
I think this box is probably, it was meant for 500 gigabyte drives or something like that, when it was new and fresh and green. Uh, now I have like 10 terabytes in it and that might just be more than this little box can handle. So yeah, I better go look for something more flashy. So, but thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Give this video a like.